You're talking about Ike. He left for work half an hour ago. He can't get out of bed. He's either rotten coward. He always leaves for work at that hour. What's he supposed to have done? He killed my damn pop. That's what. What? Ripped his guts out. Split them wide open. No, wait a minute. Are you sure? He splattered all over the damn cellar. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's with you? You don't even like dogs. It wasn't Ike. Oh, no. Wait a minute. You know who killed my dog? I heard it. Last night. Something was in the house. What? Look, I heard it. I know it. It was big and it was growling. Come on, what are you trying to give me? Like an animal. Hey, it was an animal, all right. A two-legged one, and he lives right in there. Maybe we'd better check. Could be a stray dog came in through the outside cellar door. There was no dog. I know who it was. And he'll regret it for the rest of his life. Leon, Leon, you've got to believe me. Look, I heard it. It was an, it was an animal. Take it was it a easy, dog. Jared, calm down. It was an animal. Sure. You, you know how Woody is. It was probably a passing stray. There's a lot of them in the area lately. But it was up here, too. I heard it. No, I don't think. <laughs> Look, I heard it. I know it. It was big and it was growling and it was, and it was right outside my door. Jerry, it couldn't have been up here. Now, now why don't you go... Look, I'm not making it up. It's true. Look, bad enough around here without you spooking everybody with dog stories. It's not a story. Well, whatever. Just try to relax a little, will you? It's true. I heard it. I heard it last night. Hey, man. You might want to avoid the premises tonight. Woody's on a rampage. Oh, what about now? Some stray dog must have gotten into the cellar. Anyhow, it killed his pup. Now he's claiming you did it for revenge. Oh, what a shame. Hey, wait a minute. You don't know something about this, do you? Well, of course not. What are you taking me for? Yeah, well, you don't have to look so happy. It was a cute pup. Hey, I like an animal. Yeah. Well, just thought I'd pass a word to the wise. Uh, I was going out later anyway. I guess just grab a burger somewhere. Probably a good idea.
Hey, Jerry, feeling any... He was here again last night. He was in the house. Jerry, I heard... I don't... No, he was. I heard it prowling around and growling. It was terrible. Here we go again. Look, you've got to believe me. It's true, damn it. Jerry, you're starting to give me the willies. Come on now. He was in the hall upstairs. I know it. Okay, okay, calm down. Look, something is in the house. I know it's still here. What was that? It's turquoise, for God's sake. She's getting a hose to water her plants. Now, will you just, just go back up to your room and lie down or something? But... It's okay, okay? You find a snake in the grass. What did get over here? Oh, jeez, Ike. What the? Oh, damn, he's dead. Oh, damn, give me that. Leon, we're gonna get the cops over here. Now what? You better see for yourself. Oh, good God. Is he? Yeah. I better go call the cops. Oh, we can't let Jerry see this. He's high strung enough, man. He sees this. I don't know. Oh, man, that little twerp's always high strung. Yeah, but he heard something last night. I didn't believe him, but now... I, I heard something last night underneath my window. I thought it was dogs fighting. Well, this sure as hell was an animal that ripped his damn throat out. I'll go call the cops. You better stay out here. Yeah. Hey, Jerry, open up. This is Sergeant Samuelson. He wants to talk to you about what you said you heard last night. I don't know why. You don't believe me. Nobody believes me. But I haven't heard your story. Why don't you tell it to me? See if I believe it. I heard it again last night. It was in the hallway. It stopped right outside my door. I know it. What did you hear? It was like a big dog, a big one. Just like Ike used to have, only it was growling and snarling. You didn't see it? No, 
I wasn't about to open my door with that thing out there. You said you heard it again. It was here night before last. It killed the puppy in the basement. In the basement? But it was up here too, I know it. It's still up here somewhere. Up here, you don't know where. Maybe. Maybe in the attic. But doesn't Mr. Bukowski live in the attic? But he could be keeping it up there. He threatened to kill Ike. What? He did. You tell him, Leon. We all heard him. He's always tossing that phrase around. But Jerry, he wouldn't... He killed Ken. Jerry, that was an accident. The police know that. Well, I better talk to Mr. Bukowski. We certainly appreciate your help. Mr. Scheib, was it? You don't believe me. I told you. We'll check out all the possibilities. Sure. Jerry. Well, without a full report, it's hard to tell yet, but it certainly seems that your friend was attacked by some sort of animal. Yeah, but getting in the house? With all that water and mess out there, it's impossible to tell where it went. But if it were in the house, surely you would know it. Ah, Mr. Bukowski. Just for the record, where were you last night? What do you want to know for? Just a formality. After all, when you go around threatening people... Who told you that? Take it easy. Didn't say you did anything. A little snot Jerry told you, didn't he? Mr. Bukowski. Yeah, well, I didn't kill anybody, for God's sake. I was upstairs with turquoise all night, and if you don't believe me, just ask her. That's all I wanted to know. That lousy little... Get out of my way. Hey, what's going on here, Bukowski? What are all the cops for? Well, Mr. Bouchard, this is uh, Sergeant Samuelson. This is, this is Mr. Bouchard. He uh, owns the house. What have these people done now? They haven't done anything, at least as far as we know. One of your tenants has been killed. Killed? Another one? How this time? Apparently, he was very drunk last night and was attacked in the backyard by some sort of animal. We won't know for sure until the autopsy returns in a day or two. We've had a real problem with loose dogs in the last few months. I thought I told you to get rid of that dog, Borkowski. I did. It wasn't that dog. Now, Mr. Richard, we are investigating the neighborhood. The pound has patrols out looking. I'm sure it has nothing to do with these people. Well, I don't like it that the second person has been killed in my place in the last week. It's giving it a bad name. I want you out of here, all of you. Mr. Bouchard, I want you out of here. Hey, look, look, look at this. Come on. Look at this. I rent them a perfectly good house, and this is the way they treat it. Well, Mr. Bouchard, that's no concern of mine. If you'll excuse me, I have to try to locate a young lady who stabbed her father 18 times with a butcher knife, and that is most definitely murder. Now we have to find a killer animal. Well, I hope it's not rabbit. That's the last thing we need. You just keep it away from my house, that's all. I want all of you out of here. I can find somebody who will appreciate this place. All right, all right, you can have your rotten house. The goddamn place is falling apart anyway. We're paid up through the end of the month and we're entitled to stay that long. Well, you better be out of here by then or I'll by God throw you out. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I let you in here in the first place. Hey, Jerry, telephone. Telephone? Yeah, it's Sharon. She says she wants to talk to you. Sharon? Hi, kid. I just wanted to make sure you were all right. Leon told me about Ike. It's terrible. It's still here. The, the dog, the same one that got the puppy. It's still in the house. I know it. But didn't the police come? Sure, but they don't believe me. They think it's something roaming the neighborhood. Surely it can't be in the house. It is. I hear it in the hallway at night. Oh, Jerry, you've just got to get out of there. Where? Look, I'm moving into my new place in a couple of days. And you could stay there until you find something. No, I can't do that. Of course you can. Look, why don't you come by the shop?
shop today after I get off and... I'll show it to you. Well? Come on, Jerry. You need to get out for a while. Okay. Uh, I, I need to take some books back anyway. Good. Well, I'll see you then. Okay. Bye. I hadn't been able to get much work done the last couple of days, but I've still got a little while on the books I'm working on. Good. Looks kind of quiet. Yeah. Everybody's pretty worried. Gosh, I wonder where everybody is. Uh, I, I don't really know. Probably oh, moving out. Yeah, it's too bad. Hey, my door. Relax. You probably just didn't close it too good. here. It was in my room. Oh, it just had to be Woody's work. No, it was here. It was hey, here. Hey, come on. This had to be Woody. After what you said about telling the police about his threats. Hey, come on. It's not so bad. We can straighten it up. Just calm down. Hey, that's it. So why don't I rub your back? That would help you relax. Come on over here and lie down. Well, you have to take your shirt off. Here. This was Woody's work. You know how he's always looking for trouble.
Hey, man, what's going on? Hey, Jerry. Hey, Jerry, calm down. Woody, Woody, I saw it. What's he done now? No, 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 no. He got Woody. I saw it. Woody? I saw it. It was terrible. No, you must have had a dream. Woody's upstairs asleep. No, uh, he's not. He's not back in. No, it was in the cellar. Oh, it was horrible. Oh, God. In the cellar? No, don't you start too. Can't you see he's freaked? I saw it. I saw it. Nobody's in the cellar. How could he see anything in the cellar? He's right here in bed. Well, we got to check. It was horrible. Okay, look. You two stay here, and Toad and I will go check the cellar. But it might still be somewhere in the house. You get a grip on yourself. There is nothing in the house. Come on, Toad. Uh, let me let me get a flashlight. <laughs> Where'd you get that thing out of my face? There's lights down oh, here. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing down here. Yeah, <laughs> old Jerry's dreaming again. Don't be too hard on him. Jerry's been pretty high strung lately. Oh, sure, I, I didn't mean anything. Come on, Woody will show up before long. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was just the door. <laughs> Toad, I hate to say this, but it looks like someone has been here. What the hell do you mean? This door. I locked it up after Woody's pup was killed. You mean that dog or whatever might be back? I think we'd better call the cops. This was no animal. It looks like it might have been broken out from inside. You think somebody killed Ike? I don't know. Let's get upstairs. Probably just kids. We can't find anything else. And these things happen a lot when things get in the paper like the two accidents here. But Woody... We searched the house, and we didn't find anything. And there's no evidence of anyone anywhere except the cellar door. And the wood out there is so rotten, it wouldn't take much to open it. Hell, you probably scared him off whenever you hollered. <laughs> but where is Woody, then? You yourself said he's often out late. Yeah, Turquoise. His car probably quit on him again. But I saw him. I heard him. You also heard the dog or whatever killed your friend outside. Look, it's nothing to be ashamed of to have nightmares about this kind of thing. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm moving out of here tomorrow. That's a good idea. I think you all could use a change of scenery until this stuff clears up. Yeah, that's for sure. But Woody... He'll be back. We'll keep an eye on the place. Well, thanks for the help. Sorry it was for nothing. On second thought, I'd take that back. We'll send someone by tomorrow to check it out. You better get some sleep. Find anything? Nah. Uh, thanks again. Good night. Now what? You two go on back to bed. Toad and I will check the place out once more. Uh, I don't think I can sleep now. Here, take one of these. What is it? It's just something to help you sleep. It's okay. Here, give me one of those. Would you get that light back over here? Hey, what are you doing down there? Oh, Mr. Bouchard, it's just us, Leon and to Richard. You startled us. I just heard there were cops' cars around here again. What is it this time? It looks like some kids tried to break in, sir. Oh, yeah? Where's Burkowski? Well, I'm afraid Woody's not around right now. Not around? It's 4.30 in the morning. He's out late, I guess. Okay, that's it. That's what? I want all of you out of here tomorrow. What? Out! Uh, yes, sir. Uh, you can't just... Burkowski's the one I dealt with, but he's not around to keep the place safe. I want you all out tomorrow. Now, wait a minute. Make damn sure you're not here when I come back here tomorrow to check. Now, hold it, Mr. Bouchard. I mean, we're leaving anyway. You can't just evict us like that without proper notice, you know. Proper notice? My shotgun's all the notice I need. You can't threaten people like that. Oh, yeah? You just stay here and see. I'm going to be here tomorrow evening, shotgun in hand, and you'll see who I can threaten. 
That guy's incredible. What's he doing around here this time of night? You don't suppose he could have... I don't know, and I don't care. I'm gonna start packing right now. Would you help me with this stuff? Sure. Boy, they didn't like it when I couldn't show up today. But I'm gonna get out of here fast. Yeah, me too. Fortunately, I don't have much stuff besides the machine to move. I gotta make at least two trips. Would he get back? I don't know, but I'm not gonna be the one to knock on his door this time of day and find out. Yeah, I know what you mean. If he is back, I wouldn't want to wake him. If he isn't back, I wouldn't want to wake Turquoise. Yeah. Well, I better get out of here. I'll see you later.
Unless some kids broke in last night or something. Doesn't sound like anybody's here. Yeah, Sam said they were going to move out to maybe today. I'll check around back, but it looks pretty dead to me. Leon! Leon!
Jerry? Jerry? Hey, hey, there's no reason to be so upset. It's still here. Settle down. I know what it is. It's still here. Jerry, you just gotta get out of here. I don't have any place to go. I'm moving into my new place tomorrow. And so are you. I don't know. Well, I do. So, where's everyone else? Uh, they've gone. They moved out. You mean you have this whole place to yourself? I guess so. Well, at least it'll be quiet around here for a while. Hey, Sharon. What's the matter? Jerry, don't. But I want to. No, Jerry, stop that. I knew it. I knew it. You don't want me either. Jerry, honey, it's not like that. I like you. Yes, it is. You led me on. I never led you anywhere. You just misunderstood. You said we could live together. I didn't mean... Not like that. You were just making fun of me. Like the others. That's not true, and you know it. You think I'm a fool. Hey. Pull yourself together. Now, I've got to go in there for just a minute. And when I come out... No! Yes.
Commander, where the ends of these nails will hit the percussion caps and shoot the bullets into the gelatin. Tommy, you're wonderful. <laughs> Can't put them in the cylinders yet. They're pretty tricky. We'll put them in when we're ready to start. It will be dark by then. Do you think that you can do it in the dark? Well, it's a case of have to. You're quite sure that they will come back? 